Over the years, explorers have encountered mysterious creatures, and some of these descriptions remind some people of dinosaurs. So in this video, we take a look at five encounters with mysterious creatures that could prove dinosaurs still exist. The New Guinea Iguanodon is a dinosaur-like cryptid that has recently been reported lurking in the rainforest of Papua New Guinea. In March of 2004, the dinosaur hype was again renewed with the sightings of a 3 meter tall grey coloured creature, with a head like a dog and a tail like a crocodile. News agencies picked up on the story with headlines including Hunt for Dinosaur on Volcanic Island. A police hunting party went in search of the mysterious dinosaur-like creature after reported sightings in the jungle of Papua New Guinea. Villagers in the volcanic island province of New East Britain said they fled in terror after seeing a 3 meter tall grey coloured beast. An eyewitness Christine told reporters that she had to run for her life after stumbling across the animal, which she said was as fat as a 900 litre water tank. She said the following, I heard local people talking about it, and I went there to see it for myself. It's a very huge and ugly looking animal. A government official said that villagers had identified the creature from books and movies about dinosaurs. One official said they told us it was a dinosaur. The creature was also said to have eaten three dogs. In any case, six police officers and villagers searched the area. It came up empty handed. An independent newspaper reported that a dinosaur-like reptile was seen on two occasions in the Lake Murray area. This is near the western province. It was on the 11th of December 1999, when villagers travelling in a canoe reported seeing a large animal wading in shallow waters near Babawa. The following day, a church elder said they saw the animal not far from the first sighting. The creature was described as having a body as long as a truck, and was as wide as nearly 2 metres. It sported a long neck and a long slender tail, and was walking on two hind legs. The head was similar in shape to a cow's head, with large eyes and sharp teeth as long as fingers. The skin was likened to that of a crocodile, and the creature had largest triangular scoops on the back. The stoa is a cryptid that's said to live in South America. Eyewitnesses describe it as looking like a theropod dinosaur. It's believed to range from 15 to 30 feet. It's bipedal and the hands of the creature are small. It has a large head with two horns protruding outwards. The closest thing this creature resembles is a Carnotaurus. In 1912, a military squad was camping around a lake when they heard the natives screaming stoa. Many of the people ran to a nearby cave along with the military too. A pack of stoa appeared from the woods and started to sniff out the locals. Allegedly, the military squad tried to fire at the creature, but the rifles didn't do any damage to the bees. Only two stoas have been taken down with poison arrows. Later, the natives said they ate them. The Niger Fire Spitter was a dragon-like theropod dinosaur reported in Niger. The first encounter happened in 1984. It was found by local uranium miners who were then chased by the fire spitter to the town where it was captured by local army soldiers. Almost all information on the Niger fire spitter comes from a single email from a man whose servant had seen it. This means this encounter could be considered more of a story. However, one thing that makes the story more believable is the description. The man who sent the email was well educated, but it was the servant who witnessed the creature. He'd gone on to draw the animal in great detail and the servant agreed this is what he witnessed. He was surprised when the servant said that he'd seen this creature in his home village. He later corrected him saying that while it did have a long neck and tail, the head was more like a crocodile's or a caiman's. He also added that both of its feet were the same length but had claws, much like a Spinosaurus. One explanation could be a crocodile. Many legends have come from living animals such as crocodiles, and some have put forward the idea that what the people witnessed was a large specimen. After this, it's believed stories got exaggerated and that's how the fire spitter was created. The space rock that wiped out most of the dinosaurs may have had a colossal case of bad timing. If the impact had occurred a few million years earlier or later, scientists say more of the majestic beasts may have survived. The whole idea that a space rock destroyed the dinosaurs has become controversial in recent years. Many scientists now suspect other factors were involved, 
from increased volcanic activity to changing climate. Either way, some 70% of life on Earth perished, and an asteroid impact almost certainly played a role. Not all dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Avian dinosaurs and other words birds survived and flourished. Scientists at the American Museum of Natural History estimate there's more than 18,000 species of birds alive today. With that being said, why are people the world over witnessing alleged dinosaurs? The Georgia raptor is a dinosaur-like creature said to have been sighted in Georgia. On July the 25th, 2008, an 18-year-old man and his grandfather were hunting for deer at night in Georgia when they saw an animal which they described as closely resembling a large raptor. This is what they had to say about the encounter. This happened to me and my grandpa on a hunting trip in July 2008. I don't see my grandpa very often so I always take the chance to take trips with him. Grandpa is very much an outdoorsman and enjoys hunting, fishing and being out in nature. We were in the woods at 3.30. I was 18 at the time and we was on grandpa's land in Georgia. We were walking on a rocky road heading for a site where grandpa often sees deer. As normal there were lots of sounds going on in the woods. We ignored most of them and remained quiet to not scare away anything. Suddenly we heard an unusual noise we'd never heard before. Grandpa looked at me and listened. I heard a lot of movement and more of the noise. I can't really describe the sounds but I can describe what I saw. We just kept listening to the sounds and then suddenly something came slowly walking out of the bushes and onto the road maybe 150 yards in front of us. I wasn't even scared just to miss to see this creature. As crazy as it sounds it looked like the raptor from the popular Jurassic Park movies. It had a long stiff tail walked on two feet and had short arms. It had a huge claw on both of its feet and smaller claws on its arms. Grandpa and I waited until we felt safe again and then quietly made our way back to the truck and drove home. In the truck we talked to each other about what we'd seen and decided not to tell grandma because she'd think we was crazy. I never believed in stuff like ghosts, strange creatures and the paranormal. But since that encounter I believe in creatures that science doesn't know about. That's my story as odd as it sounds. I know what I saw. The Partridge Creek Beast is said to be a living Ceratosaurus. It's often seen in the Partridge Creek area of Yukon Territory, Canada. This creature terrorised local moose and reindeer herds with its powerful muscular build and ferocious mouth. This creature is said to be between 40 and 50 feet long, be 40 tons in weight, solid black in colour, be bipedal, sharp teeth and a single horn on its snout. It was said to roar loudly and have an appetite for large mammals. Its footprints were 5 feet long and 2 feet and 6 inches wide with claws 1 foot long. Its tail impression was 10 feet long and 16 inches wide. It resembles Ceratosaurus and other theropods. An indication of a hoax is that dinosaurs did not drag their tail on the ground and held it horizontal to the ground. Though some have said it could be possible for this species of dinosaur to go from a normal horizontal stand to a kangaroo-like stance, leaning back on its tail. The creature is known from two sightings in the 20th century. James Lewis Butler and Tom Limore were hunting moose near Clear Creek when the animals they were stalking burst away in a sudden rapid fright after having been extremely quiet. They discovered the tracks of a giant animal. They followed it for a while, until the tracks disappeared into a deep rocky gorge. They later met some men and five Indians who agreed to search for the monster. They were initially unsuccessful, but eventually encountered it near the campsite. They observed it for 10 minutes and had a very clear look at it. In 1907, it's claimed the creature was spotted in the same area. It carried a deceased reindeer in its gaping jaws and left tracks identical to the tracks recorded four years earlier. As these are the only sightings and they took place more than a century ago, we may never know what these men encountered. All of them claimed it was a Ceratosaurus, which fit the description of the beast they saw. If it is in the creature or at least its remains could be found, its existence might offer solid proof that dinosaurs were warm-blooded, because a large cold-blooded reptile would have little hope of survival in the northerly climate of the Yukon. So what do you guys make of these stories? And do you think there's any truth to them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments.
Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.